Sorry about that, good people. I had an interruption. We'll get right back into it. So once um, uh, the captain repelled the or the initial orc horde that they encountered back, once they started getting those guys to go back and we started repelling the assault, uh, the captain left. The captain and the ultramarines they left the area to go look elsewhere for the for the war boss. Well, once they did that. The orcs, re they regrouped. They got themselves back together. And they made another attempt back on Black Reach. And they started actually regaining back lost territory. So, the captain already figuring this out. Already looking ahead and knowing this possibility. You know, these orcs might, you know, try to step foot back in this place once we leave. He left some can these huge thunder cannons, right? Just to kind of repel, keep the orcs back. And with that being said, he actually had him at bay. So he had so, you know, the ultramarines, the guys that were still there initially, he gave they gave um, the captain an ultra um, distress call. And once again, he had to come back to Black Reach. But he left his uh, a second in command in command there. His name started with a T. Tell him if I'm not mistaken. He left him in command there. Well, he kind of got a little repelled back. But once he got back a little bit inside this cavern under this waterfall, uh, captain, the captain, him and the boys came dropping down with the Terminator. This is big, huge, just, just huge destructive machine, ultramarine, uh, a type of, uh, artillery. I'm not exactly sure what a term, I think a Terminator is once a, you know, another, oh shit, I'm sorry about that. Um, a type of, um, a soldier is like a huge silver with this huge, powerful armor and he's just a destroyer. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to want to say exactly what it is because I'm not too sure but we will get more information on that but anyway while they was in the cavern the captain said nobody will leave and once he said nobody will leave he had this grenade type device that once he you know detonated it will literally destroy everything even with himself at the same time him is his, his, his guys whatever he didn't he he wanted to get rid of him so he waited for his guys to get out and he hit the and he hit the button because he actually had the war boss cornered in the place zigzag zag zig zag leg zag leg i want to say zag leg forgive me for saying it incorrectly but he had him cornered and what that said with that being said he actually killed him they didn't say in the detail how, how it happened but he killed him and he got the, got the Ultramarines out of there, and they left the place, and bada bing, bada boom, they went on to the next place. Now, after that, of course, you know, the orcs, because there was a power vacuum, they were struggling to try to fill the shoes of their fallen war boss. But, you know, I think they had a little bit of issue, because everybody wants to be leader, and, you know, you know how that goes. But anyway, that's the story of the captain on that, on that particular issue, because, um... Looking at the lore of Mr. Sicarius, he has a pretty big, um, pretty big list of our accomplishments there. He is a pretty, he's a bad A. I mean, I was already going to say he was a bad A because he looks like one. But nah, he has a very long list of acolytes, dude. He's, he's going above and, above and beyond. And one part, they said the first time in another story after this, when he was on another planet doing something else, right after his promotion... They said he smiled, and they said the first time he smiled in like a year? Who the heck doesn't smile in a year? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, but yep, that's where that story pretty much went. So now, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're just going to talk about what we're doing. Um, Like I was talking about the blue, the highlighting in the blue, once we already have the... um. The initial uh, highlight, I mean, initial layer down, and once we hit it with the um, the layer, all we do is go over the rise areas, and the majority there is not any crevices. Also, with that blue, to, you know, so you, you can see the difference between the lighter blue and the blue that's already been hit with the wash. That's basically highlights itself. I and mean, we can, and then you, initially we will hit it because oh, sorry about that. We will hit it again with the um probably with another wash and like go over the shoulder pads and the arms and like when we do the really the highlights on the really rise the risen areas and whatnot but yeah let's uh, keep going oh you know what i need i need oh another another good thing that i'm using a good thing to have is something that i'm using is some um medium retarder 
I mean, some tartar medium, so retarded medium. Sorry about that. Anybody actually wants me to know what that is, basically, you know, you put that in your ink. That way, it makes your ink last a little bit longer. It doesn't dry up on you as fast. And dealing with this type of ink, you want it to last as long as you can because, you know, sometimes you go back and forth from a different um, paint. I'm sorry, I keep saying ink from a different paint. I'm sorry, I keep saying ink, guys, because I, I'm, I work in screen printing and all I see is. <sighs> pigments of color all day long all day long I have an idea with pigments of color my love of my life this right here color paint my sec my secondary loves screen printing so I'm dealing with a bunch of ink <laughs> anyway good thing I don't paint like paint or paint or whatever anyway <laughs> all right let's get back into this we're now going to continue to go over the blue Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna go over the resin areas. But there's a little, you see right here where I'm painting at right here? There's a little wristband right here. And initially that's gold. I think I'm gonna paint the come back and paint that gold. What do you guys think? Give me your opinion. Give me your opinion. But yeah, really, with that part right there, the little wristband. Let's see, that's cool. I think we should paint that gold. What do you guys think? Hit the comment. Yeah, hit the comment. Anyway, let's. We're gonna go back over here. Go over the fingers now. Take our time here. Just lightly go over one quick time. Cause sometimes you think, you know, if I, you know, of course you take your time. You want detail, and you know, cause I'm used to do this. I would, you know, go over the area and I would constantly go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I learned now lately, so you're doing figurines, even painting period, you know, you just graciously go over one time, precision, because usually you're precise enough to know what you're gonna do. You just attempt it one time, confident about your movement, be deliberate and just commit, no matter how small or detailed or minute, long it may be, Usually you pull it off usually with no with no worries. When you try to go over the second and third and try to perfect something that's pretty probably as perfect as it's gonna get, that's how sometimes we can overcompensate. You know what I mean? But uh, let's keep pushing forward here. I think blue-wise, um, we'll do the leg right here. I think we're okay. I'm just gonna go right here in this crevice right here. Grab a little bit of that. I'll get that a little bit of highlightage. We kinda wanna cover as much as we can. That's visible to the eye. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Well, oh, we got one more hand here to do. Like I was saying, you see how small these little hands are right here? You see that right there? Those little guys. See, all we'll do is just come in and just, because we know where we're going, just gradually. Uh, uh, uh. Go over to the edge. We're done. Just that fast. We're done. And when we come back with the um, the another wash, we'll gently just wash right there and come back with a little higher, high, a higher um, lighter hue of the blue, and you'll be and we'll see it perfectly. I just love it how it all just blends together. All right, now we will. Yeah. Now we'll actually do. Mm, now we'll do the red. Oh, I missed something. I missed some more blue. We still have some more blue to do. My bad, good people. We still have the flag to do. All right, so the light, okay, we still have the corner up here to do. Try bars. So we'll just lightly go over that. Now, here, now see, I was kind of wondering how would I, the flag part, because mainly all, I mean, you'll have your little part that recesses and wrinkles, and a little flat areas, so we'll just go down the middle. Just get us a little, a little damp. A little bit more. So we can handle this ink a little better. I mean, paint a little better. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. That's funny. All right. Let's go to town. 
Remember, we're just getting our high our resin areas. That's all we're doing. We don't want to go in. We're not going in deep. We don't want to paint the whole thing over. You know what I mean? That is what makes it easier. We just want to get the areas that is exposed and not in the crevices. All right. Take our time. Can we see? Yep. Take our time and just go straight down the middle and just lightly. Take our time. Go through the middle. Whatever we see we want to paint, just paint it. Because in your mind, you already know what you want to do. It's just a matter of just getting your hand-eye coordination together and steadily just going in, being patient, breathing calmly, and doing what you want to do. And also, always remembering to have fun while you're doing it. Because if it ain't fun, bro, I'm telling you right now, ladies and germs, it ain't worth doing. That's just my personal take on the whole situation. Because anything can be fun. You can make cutting down trees fun, if you know what I mean. You can make shoveling crap fun. You know what I mean? You can be the best crap shoveler in the world. Me, personally, I've been in situations to where as... Hey, I've been places where you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be going to sleep there. You don't want to wake up there. But hey, you're there where you're there, so you might as well make the best time of it while you're there. What's the point of being miserable? I mean, it's not going to change anything. You might as well do the best you can where you're at, make the best of it. So, not to say it can be enjoyable, not to say that you don't take it serious. It's just that you don't want to be, you want to be as content as possible. And that's your own peace. That's your own peace of mind. That's just how I look at it. There's nothing wrong with having peace of mind in, every, in it. In, in any situation that you can. Not the wrong one whatsoever. Alright, my bad. I didn't mean to ramble. We'll get back into this. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink, 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 yoink. Alright, I am happy with the blue. Alright, so now, like I said, we'll go ahead and jump into the red. But once we do the red... We'll jump to a couple of screenshots of the completed, excuse me, highlighted kit here. Excuse me, a little drink of water. Because we don't want to have too long of a video here. We'll go ahead and jump into the red. Ah, right quick. Oh, Giro, give us a little, little shaky poo. Little shaky poo. Ah. Yoink, yoink, yoink. You know what? That was a lot of space for a little bit of ink. I mean, a little bit. Of... Ah, it's funny. It's not ink, Jamie. It's freaking paint. I uh, someone's probably yelling at the screen. That's not freaking ink. That's paint, you bum. Well, I'm sorry. Hell. <laughs> Once again, we'll use a. a a teensy bit of returder. Get a little bit of returder in there. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. All right. Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah. Let's get some red retarder in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's. That's fun. I'm gonna show me how you do that one day. All right. <clears throat> Give her a... Get some water up in there. Give her a nice little mix right there. Just like that. Nice and... Nice and pretty like. Yeah. Get her nice and pretty, like. All right, got a nice scene. Once again, get her nice and sharp, you know? And we come back to the paint, you know, same thing. Give a nice little turn as we bring it across our little painting area. So that way, you know, you just turn it as you come across. That way you keep it nice and sharp. So you can do your, you can have a nice precise stroke when you're painting. All right, let's, um, well, you know what, let's do a little bit more water so that way, like I said, we don't get clunky. Now this is just my take on how I do it. There's no specific way to, and you know, of course, you know, there's specific ways to lay down paint, foundation, base, and all that crap, but how you, you do what you do, your style, your way, you know, but of course there's always a fundamental, uh, ethos to how you do everything and at the same time you know throwing your little mix in there and keeping it funky fresh that's what it's all about and having fun all right let's uh throw some red on the shing i hope i don't overdo it i hope 
group now? Because I was kind of wondering, like, oh, this red, I'm kind of leery about this red. But I'm just going to go over lightly the areas. I'm not going to touch the edge. I'm not going to come to the edges and just take my time. Like I said, we'll just keep popping away here. And um, the better I get at this, the faster I'll get. And these videos won't be all the darn freaking 13 minutes. And if they are, it'll be it'll be much more progress while we're doing it. You know what I mean? For the most part. At least that's what we're thinking anyway. But anywho, sometimes you know when you're doing your video, you just get lost in what you're doing and Hell, you're having fun, you're having fun. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about anyway. So, hope you guys stay well. Be good to each other. Continue to build. And we will see you guys on the next one. The next video will not be about, will not be about figures. It'll be about, it'll be about that vroom vroom. You know what I mean? That vroom vroom. It'll be a nice little update on what we have next on the bench. So, you guys, you be good to yourselves and each other. Do slime, say it two times. Peace. Holla.